Hey, I haven't filmed in a Hey, I haven't filmed a haul in a while, so I thought I would, because I've actually bought stuff, so let's get into it. Oh shit, I'm not gonna make I'm gonna go in any random order because I cannot be bothered. Um <gasps> Where is it? I got it. Okay. Let's start. At the price line, fifty percent off forty percent off sale, sorry, not the fifty because there's they don't do that. I didn't get much, I only got the Australis a mineral lights highlighter in gold so it's like a liquid highlighter you can mix it with your foundation or whatever and the Maybelline hyper sharp wing which is got a tip that's like that but it also is like that so it's thin and thick and it's flimsy and I'm still working on it but it's super black so I really like that I was so excited for these um, I ordered these off of beauty leash and they're the Jeffree Star um, Christmas collection. Um, this is Ho 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 Mistletoe, which I did a tutorial on. Um, Doll Parts, Drug Lord, which is a pure white, and Androgyny, which I was looking forward to most out of this collection. And to be honest, it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be, but I really still do like it. It's a really beautiful colour, and I want to do a swatch video on these eventually, even though. There's probably a million out there, but um, yeah. So apparently, a ho ho has been sold out, um, unfortunately. Um, it's not coming back, but a new metallic one is coming back for the holidays. Um, but Androgyny is um, coming, it's going to be permanent. But I'm glad I got it. In. I'm glad I got it in this packaging because um, this rose gold color is so pretty. I was still on a liquid lipstick kick, so this set from Stila. Um, it comes with six of their matte lips, um, uh, liquid lipsticks, which I think are actually better than the Jeffree Star ones, in my opinion. I don't know why, but the texture is so amazing, and the way that they apply is just great. I like the applicator on the um, Jeffree Star better, but this one's actually not bad either. And um, There's such a beautiful range of colors. There's also a $29 one, which is... Um, got three three of them this one was like 57 but I decided to get the one with more in it I really wanted the three pack but I think it was sold out later on when I went um, and then this nude has to become permanent because mixed with patina which is already a permanent color they are amazing together and I wore this to my valedictory patina and it was so gorgeous and I want it in full like I want I'm gonna get the full one after this one runs out but other than that this one is caramello patina Chianti, Chianti, which is beautiful. It's a dark kind of purpley color. Frey, which is dark red, or it's pretty, it's just a red. Uh, Aria, which is a beautiful kind of purpley color. Oh, uh, sorry. It's a bit darker than Patina. And this one's an actual purple, which is a gorgeous color. It's called Como. And some of them are permanent, some of them are um, limited edition, but hopefully this caramello color will become permanent because they need a nude. I also have the L'Oreal liquid lipstick kind of double-ended thing, which is a gorgeous color in Violet Parfait. It's really nice and dark and pretty, like a fig color, which I really, which I like a lot. On Tuesday, there was like Melbourne Central was having some sort of day and there were guys, like really cute guys, giving out these at Mecca, which was just water bottle. Which I, is so funny. I have this Sephora water bottle from the Sephora Melbourne opening and a Mecca opening. So it's like, so it's just from Mecca and it's like that little one. This one's bigger than the other one. So don't know what that's trying to say about it, but I thought that was funny. I might put them up somewhere, even though they're just plastic bottles. And it came with a lollipop. How cute. And also came with this holiday gift guide thing, which is kind of, you know, cool. But in there, I have a MAC product because it was World's 8th. World AIDS Day on the 1st of December, which was the day I went, and how cute is this snack bag? Um, I decided to get one of the Viva Glam lipsticks because um, the Viva Glam collection, um, they 100% of profits they give to the MAC AIDS Fund, which helps people with AIDS, and I thought that was so sweet because, um, I don't know, I just, I'm one of those people that um, I will, like, like, say my piece about AIDS, like, it's... It's a really hard disease to live with and recently it's been getting better but 
it still needs work. So I got the Miley Cyrus 2, which I've been looking forward to. The, the one wasn't really special, it was just a hot pink, but this is like a bright red, like orangey kind of colour. So I really, really wanted it. And I've yet to try it, and I'm so excited for it. And I don't have any colour like it, so there's that. At the Sephora opening, I got some samples I'll show you first. So I went twice. I went the day of the opening, and I went on Tuesday, which was a couple, four days later. So I got this um, conditioner. It says après shampooing, which means after shampooing. So it's just a repairing conditioner from L'Occitane, which I love. Um, it Cosmetics Primer, another It Cosmetics Primer, a Sichuan conditioner, which they gave us a lot of conditioner, another It Cosmetics Primer, <laughs> and Givenchy Dahlia Divine. And they also gave me a L'Occitane hand cream, full size, which I was like, oh my god. Um, but I have that in my bag. I bought, I finally got the Laura Mercier Indiscretion Highlighter. I've been wanting this for so long, but it's always sold out at David Jones, and they called me and they said, oh, we've got one in stock, but I couldn't get to the city on time, so they had it here. It looks like this. It's so gorgeous. Honestly, it's not that pigmented, but when you put it on, it just makes a nice glow, so, and it's just gorgeous to look at, so yeah. Bigger bag. This was the one thing that I wanted, it, and I'm not sure if it's up. Uh, if it's limited edition or if it's permanent, but yeah, I got the Levita Vita Loca palette, which is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to play around with it. This is just so good for having different colors instead of having to buy like different matte colors and stuff like that. Having them all here and they're amazing pigmentation. That day, when the first time I went, they also gave me a free Zoeva brush, which I was surprised. I was like, a Zoeva brush, like I love, like I always wanted Zoeva colors, I'm sorry. Zoeva brushes and this is one of those buffing foundation brushes which would be amazing for like concealer or eyeshadow anything like the next time I went I because I first wanted this but I couldn't get it because I was I was deciding between the Laura Mercier and this and then I just decided to get the Laura Mercier but then I kind of regretted it so I decided to get this oh, can't breathe and basically I only got it for two two brushes but it was a lot of money for two brushes, I guess, but um, it actually comes with five and this little bag, so it's really, really cute. Um, the brushes that I really, really wanted was this one, which was the one that Jaclyn Hill uses. It's the buffing brush for foundation. And this brush here, which would be perfect for highlighter and blush and stuff. But it also comes with a small kind of concealer brush, as they call it. But it would be great for like contouring and stuff and nose contouring especially. A, a stippling brush, which is like just good to have. And just like a fluffy eyeshadow brush is just perfect for eyeshadow and like a bit of blending because it's got a little, it's like flat but it's got some fluff at the top. Lastly, for Matt, sorry, for Sephora, I got another Soeva brush. This is the 227 Lux Soft Definer, which the lady had to go into the back to see if she could find one for me. Like, she was so determined to find it for me, and I'm like, it's okay if you can't find it. And she's like, no, no, don't worry. And then she said, that's the last one we have. So I said, you know what, that's perfect. And I actually washed these. Um, I've already washed them all because I washed them before I use them. And it's just just the ones that, you know, like the Mac has, like Mac has, everyone loves them. And I just thought I'd get one because I don't have anything like this brush. And, Decided I'd get it because I want it, you know, that's just, I dropped it. That's just how it is. It's over there, I can't bother, I'll get it later. Um, and I just thought I'd mention that I got the, um, the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm because of Nikki Tutorials, like everyone got, got it. It's not bad, I use it as my primer sometimes and like I don't really see a difference, but maybe there is a difference, I don't know. I'll still keep using it. It's it was a big bottle, it was like eight dollars on special, so I decided to get it and I mean eight dollars for a big bottle of primer, like why not? And also for my valedictory, I bought these two because I really want OPI Dolce de Leche on my nails right now. I've got OPI Muir Muir on the wall, which I thought it would be nicer because it looks so good in the in the packaging, but it just looks brown on my nails. 
um, but I want I really wanted OPI Dolce de Leche but I don't have it it's in the mail like it's getting sent to me right now like I, it was on my wish list and then it was on all sale so I bought it anyway I keep rambling so in the meantime I got a cafe au lait um, by Sally Hansen and a Sally Hansen big matte top coat because I found this photo of Dolce de Leche with a matte top coat it looked amazing so I decided to put that on but it didn't really work out because I was in a rush and they just messed up but other than that next time I do it next time I paint my nails I will do this and that is all for today I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry I was in a rush but the shopping centre closes in two hours and I need to go and buy it and find hunt down some baubles from Target so yeah okay anyway that's it I will see you next time